Hey guys, welcome to Fear and Wine. We're back with our Let's Play of Alan Wake 2. This is part three. When we last left off, um... What happened? Oh yeah, we figured out the whole thing that's going on with Nightingale and how he's connected to the other murderers. And then we uh, went to the morgue where he came back to life and it looked like the sheriff was taken by the darkness. She got real fucked. He didn't have a heart. But he still got up. The page predicted all of it. It helped me fight him. Oh, oh, oh. He, he just disappeared? What the hell is going on here? We need to figure that out if we're going to do anything about it. Somehow we need to make sense of this. Let's see. Right before things got crazy, Sheriff Breaker just vanished. Maybe the sheriff knew more than he was letting on. Hmm. He seemed anxious, like he dreaded what was coming. One more mystery. There is no rational explanation to what we just saw. I'd love to blame this on mass hallucination caused by inhaling volcanic gas, but we both know that's bullshit. This was supernatural. Well, I'm glad you were the one to say it. Now we can figure out a way forward. <clears throat> yeah, that'd be a hard one to explain it. The victim of a ritualistic murder turns into a monster. Is there a connection? Looks to me like the cult of the tree is gotta be rituals to create monsters. Hmm, maybe. We need to start with learning this cult's goal, their purpose. All right. Oh, there's one of the pages on the floor. Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. A ritual. Saga would learn how stop the monster. So yeah, that doesn't give you the entire thing, so you want to go and uh, read these. So we picked up the one where we got attacked. The autopsy room was a mess, like a bomb had gone off. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her under the light, pushed past her. The Taken could not see into bright light. The light hurt them, hurt the darkness in them, made them vulnerable. I flick the switch. It goes click. Show me the clicker. Lights are off, but somebody's home. Hemingway brought you here, witch. Get out of my house, Nightingale shouted. A wave of terror crashed through Saga's head. The awful truth. Nightingale had no heart in his chest, but here he was, killing a monster. The world had lurched out of balance. You found yourself trapped on the far side of the mirror. Woohoo! Yeah, it's, uh, that'd be terrifying. Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. He was there too, Nightingale. Was, but wasn't a Taken, a creature of darkness. He was beyond her reach, where some other strange reality, the Dark Place, merged with ours. This place and the Dark Place, a tarp thrown over top, drowning everything beneath it, a flood of darkness, soaking into everything, spoiling it, rotting it. The page called this area an overlap. Huh. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. Required precise steps, a ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster before he killed again. <clears throat> her job. He'd be inside, waiting for her. Yeah, so in the original, like, you had to wait till pretty much nighttime is when the darkness would appear. Or in any kind of, like, shadows. But yeah, it seems to be... Uh, like he said, overlapping. It's not doing what it normally does. So it's increased in strength, and that's great. So Sheriff Breaker's gone. Uh, oh, do we have a Mind Palace thing to do? Oh, I guess we do, yeah. A dead man turned into a monster. Light as a way to fight him. Pages predicting the future. There's no rational explanation. This is the case we must solve. Okay, cases. Cult of the tree. Oh. Okay, here we go. The cult of the tree is performing rituals to create monsters. <laughs> Hold up, no. Uh. Nightingale is the only victim to become a monster. All right. We told him to cult kill him, became a monster. Hmm. 
No. Hmm. That's not right. Okay, all right, all right. Let's look around. <clears throat> cult symbol, so cult psychology? No. Maybe it's just that? Yeah. I wouldn't believe it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Need to dig into this. There must be an explanation. Okay, yeah. The writing. Wasn't that somewhere around here? Hmm. Maybe symbols? Hmm. No? Okay. Uh... I mean, is it just this one again? No. No, okay. Text tattooed on victims, manuscript pages found inside. Writing has some significance here. Oh, it looks like there's still something. Case board. Oh, uh, what is that? No. There's a circle on the case board, so I'm assuming there's something we're not, we have not missed. Oh, is it just the goals? Ah, there we go. So we need the manuscript pages. We just put that over here. I oh, know that wasn't found there though. According to the page, it sounds like Nightingale went back to Cauldron Lake and he's a taken? Well, he's not a taken. Right. The overlap, what? These pages aren't making sense. Now we're done. All right, come on, buddy. We got to go back to. Oh, that's not the way out. We got to go back to Cauldron Lake. The page places Nightingale back at Cauldron Lake. Calls him a Taken. We need to head over there, stop him, before yep. anyone else gets hurt. Okay. We, we heard gunshots, y'all okay? Did you get spooked by the bodies? Sheriff Breaker disappeared. Nightingale turned into some sort of a monster and there are offices down. You two handle things here. We need to get back to Cauldron Lake immediately. Fuck me. Damn. That's terrible. We'll do what we can, man. I like that they just accept it. So it tells you that there's probably something commonly that happens. Hold on, let's see what they say. heart was missing. How could he do anything? He's dead. Yeah, right. Well, that's all. Crazy talk. Monsters aren't real, and what do you mean the, the sheriff disappeared? Like poof, he's gone like magic. Magic's not real. <laughs> Magic's not real. Right, Mulligan? No, Thorn. Monsters aren't real, and magic's definitely. But they did. I mean, <clears throat> in the first one, they did report saying like it's weird shit happening, like. But they said weird stuff always happens around deer. Uh, Deer fest, but that 2010 it was a uh, pretty weird. Like people were acting abnormal. That whole jazz. Good day. My client has been held here long enough. Are you gonna let me speak to them or not? Uh, just a moment, ma'am. Someone will be right with you. No, let's explore a little bit. It's not opening. Oh. Gonna, oh, what's this? Oh, I know one of you is stealing the toilet paper. I've been counting them, and there's an entire roll missing every day from the stack. Theft is taken seriously around here. It's a sheriff's station, for Pete's sake. One of these days, I'm going to catch you red-handed, and you better believe you're getting thrown out. What a disgrace you are. What kind of nut counts the toilet paper roll? Sounds like you've got too much time on your hands. I agree with both statements. She does have too much time, but... Oh, what? My wits end with you. Uh, Walter was in the original. He, his I friend. Something bad's going down. I can feel it. Let me out. 
Oh, that's this guy. Uh, Walter's friend became a Taken. It was actually pretty, <clears throat> pretty gnarly. Nightingale and his cult are dangerous. We need to be prepared in case things escalate more than they already have. Can you call it in, Casey? A smart choice, Anderson. Let's wait for him to call it in. Yeah, a Agent Casey here. Yeah. We need backup. The Bright Falls case. Whoever you can spare. ASAP. Think we'll actually find Nightingale at the lake? The pages haven't been wrong yet. We can't assume the person writing these pages isn't playing us. I agree. But it's our best lead. What is this person doing? She's like looking at the pole, that's weird. Marisetta won't roll over on the issues. Hmm. Whoever that is. Wait up! I'm coming, I'm coming. Just want to look around, see what people are talking about. Like, what are these guys talking about? Nothing, they're standing there. The car can be used to travel between locations. Alright. Uh, rinse and repeat. Clock out, get a beer. Or maybe three. <laughs> Alright. So go back to Cauldron Lake, look for Nightingale, see what the fuck's going on. Clean, Anderson. I know why Nightingale was here 13 years ago. He was chasing a writer, Alan Wake. Tammy mentioned him. She's writing a book on his disappearance. You know the detective character from his books, Alex Casey. Yeah, I've heard the jokes at the office. Cold case Casey. Murder case, Casey. <laughs> Sorry. Uh -huh. It's the same name, similar job. It's the first thing anyone thinks of. It annoyed me, but that was it. Then, ten years ago, I started getting strange letters in the mail. Fragments of prose describing murders. You've heard the stories about what happened in New York. Some of it, at least. Bodies started to pile up. It was a murder cult. Turns out the fragments sent to me were from the crime books of Alan Wake. The cult was copycatting the murders from the books. In their heads, they were performing a ritual to bring Wake back. Their imagined prophet. After that case, I started looking into Wake's disappearance on the side. And you thought this case might be connected to him? His name does keep popping up. Huh. I just wanted you to have all the facts. That will take precedence Next later. Time, give them to me before we find ourselves in the middle of a horror story. All right, here we are. <clears throat> it's weird how the weather, the uh, like lighting changes. Return to the heart. The page says Nightingale's in something called an overlap. Need to figure out exactly what that means. I'm happy I'm not in charge of this mess. Thanks. Let's nice. start looking for Nightingale where it was killed. The writer of these pages knows what will happen. Because they're behind this, or because they can see what's coming. Impossible things are happening here. A world operating on different rules. I need to understand this strange logic. To see the clues. To solve the case. Blah. Indeed. God, this game is beautiful. Wow. Okay. I've been thinking more about the cold of the tree. What sort of cult refers to themselves as a cult? In my experience, they don't. Yeah, they don't believe they are. We're not seeing the full picture yet. Hey, what are these assholes doing? Hey, 
Hello there. How are you folks doing? Those restricted area signs don't do a damn thing, huh? Hello. Saga Anderson. Are you two supposed to be here? I'm Ilmo Koskela. Fantastic to meet you. And yes, Stephen here hired me to show him through the woods. He's in town on important government business. Fixing this impressive piece of hardware. I work for the FBC, ma'am. Hmm. I'm authorized to be here. And I bet you two are here about that murder. Nasty stuff. How's it going? Uh, anybody who doesn't know, FBC is actually from Control. It's the Federal Bureau of Control, which... Uh, that's why I was expecting to see Courtney Hope in this game. But I guess they're not tying it all together yet. How did you hear about the murder, Elmo? Do you know anything that could help us? People tend to tell me things. The Koskala brothers are kind of a household name around here. Speaking of, uh, if you're looking for some fun, stop by Watery. Just down the road from Bright Falls, there's our Coffee World Amusement Park. There's Sauna, Sauna de Vista. <laughs> and we offer a variety of guided tours, hunting, fishing, hiking, whatever strikes your fancy. You name it, we probably got it. Huh. What is this thing? It's just a monitoring station, ma'am. The Federal Bureau of Control checks volcanic activity and air toxicity levels. No need to worry, though. It's mostly for research purposes. That's one gorgeous wetter saga. <laughs> Looks Nordic. I bet a family member made it. My mother made this sweater for me. How do you know? I knew it. My mom used to knit those sweaters for me and my brother. Watery, my hometown, was founded by Finnish immigrants. So between your name and the sweater, I figured your family might be from Finland too. Suomi, Finland. Ulla, Karjalan Close. My mom's family is from Sweden originally. I don't know much about them beyond that. The sweater is just something to remember her by. Stephen, we're investigating a murder that occurred nearby. What can you tell me about your bureau? Nothing that isn't classified, I'm afraid. But I don't know anything about a murder. The operations here are run by a different department. I'm just here to make some repairs. The wiring on this thing frays every couple months. Yep, that's the raccoons. They grow real big here with teeth like you wouldn't believe. Can not run through a garbage can. Well, okay. I need to get back to it. Let's check in here real quick. Facial animations when they talk are really great. Uh, maintenance. So clear signs of tampering. Signals were re was rerouted into a transmitter that's not one of ours. I fixed it so any alerts will come our way, but it's definitely concerning. I'll make a report for the investigations department. Leaving this here is in case I'm not next to the person to fix this thing. If you're reading this, check for tampering. We may put more uh, secure metal casings around the whole thing so that the raccoons can't get in anymore. All right. Let's move. Let's get to the murder side, Casey. Feels like we're not going to make too much progress on a lot of these. I feel like these parts are not. You know, there's going to be progress that's not made. About this case keep bothering me. Or at least like might be the ones with no action in them. Really off. Breaker's disappearance. I don't get the feeling Nightingale was responsible. Hmm. He was about to give you more of those pages. Something didn't want us to have them? Or was protecting him from Nightingale? Spontaneous combustion? I don't know. I, not the kind of disappearance we normally solve. Yeah, that's what actually kind of threw me off of this one, was uh, it wasn't as action-packed as the first one. Or so far, as much as i played, it hasn't really been. Oh, shit. Our crime scene's drowning. I never mind it rain. Feels like cold. No sign of a nightingale. But the page did place him at Cauldron Lake in an overlap. So how do we follow him there? Maybe something around here will tell us. Uh. Oh. 
bare feet. Nightingale. I'll see where these footprints lead. Can you come through the crime scene one more time, KC? Just in case? On it. If anything comes up, I'll radio you. We've seen this symbol before. Hmm. Could I? Is that it? Hmm. Anyway, let's follow these footprints then. See, like, now the sun's back out. Well, I guess I keep the flashlight out. Okay, footsteps are leading this way. See, now the sun's getting dark again. I guess that's the point. To let you know when danger's coming. Okay, yeah, that's danger. <sighs> Footprints are still going this way. The okay. tracks lead into the water. And they also look Where like they got a little here? bit of shadow on them. Oh, I didn't mean to pull my gun. Oh, we need to reload anyway. Oh, shit. God damn it. The presence. <laughs> Nightingale isn't far. What's this? Sweet. Oh, um... How do we do stuff? Oh, uh, maybe it's... Ah, uh, oh, there we go. Charm slots. Okay. Equip. Heal. Oh. Um. the hell are we looking at? Oh, profiling. Uh, I guess Nightingale? I know Nightingale is somewhere around Cauldron Lake. The tree was a threshold. This place and the dark place. <laughs> You're in over your head. Next stop, Caldera Street Station. The threshold, like a doorway, leading to Nightingale. It's somehow connected to a tree, which is ladle. Sorry, just prepare myself for something. Okay. Am I supposed to be able to see his footprints in this water? There is no mystery in Cauldron Lake being named after its cauldron shape. And yet there are many mysterious mysterious stories around the lake. It's being a gloomy doorway to the underworld or a witch whose cauldron the lake really was. The legend tells when the affections of a local sheriff went unanswered, he accused the lady in question of having bewitched him. She was drowned, but her dropped ladle grew into a strange tree named Witch's Ladle. The woman returned to avenge her wrongdoers. If she was not a witch before she was uh, before she was one now. She killed the sheriff, drowning him in the lake, then she took out his heart and locked it in a box with the part she would summon him from the lake to exact revenge on her behalf, or so the legend goes. And that is Baba Yaga, Barbara Yeager. There's the overlap. What is that? Seems like it's reacting to the light. Uh, how do I? Oh, yeah. Shit, how do I do this? These aren't the same tracks that were here before. 
they're headed into the tree, not out of it. R1, okay. It wouldn't let me do it. My flashlight burned the dark stuff away. It was covering another page. The fuse was in place. Saga stepped into the witch's hut. Inside, a bright light. There were objects that stood out to Saga, as if the light had manifested them. The witch's hut. Okay. I trust the pages to lead me to the overlap. All right, let's the check this out. The fuse was in place. She found it among the junk in the forest. Saga stepped inside the witch's hut. Something rushed through her. A presence. Familiar. She couldn't quite place it. Something long forgotten. She tried to hold on to it, but it was already gone. Inside, a bright light. Saga felt safe, like nothing could hurt her here. There were objects that stood out to Saga as if the light had manifested them, pulled them from the darkness. A shift in reality, heavy with hidden meanings. A coffee thermos, a shoebox, huh. a mop and a bucket, a poster on the wall, and in the cabinet, another manuscript page. Our right, poster on the wall is, and mop and bucket are from uh, Control. And of course the thermos and the manuscript page from Alan Wake. Because uh, I can't remember her name. What was her name? Jessie. Jessie, uh, Courtney Hope's character from Control. She talked about a poster on the wall uh, at the beginning of Control. I got to do a let's play of that one. I really do. Maybe I'll do it coinciding this one. We got another enough room for another one. I, yeah, we do. But it's like one of those games, like Prey. Like every time I tried to do a let's play, I ended up like canceling it or just shutting it all down. Which one? this whole area is flooded? All right, we need a map. Oh wait, we have a map, don't we? Okay, so we need to go to Witch's what? Witch's hut. Okay, so it's this way. Is that the right way? Yeah. How do I get out of this water? That's where we just were, right? No. <laughs> I remember that's what I didn't like about this first area is I get lost so easily. When we came down, I remember I saw the box from like here as I was coming in. Just up this way. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, yeah, it's probably that little ledge. Oh my god. This is the witch's hut. Okay, cool. Anderson, I thought I saw something in the woods. Probably just a deer, but I'm gonna check it out. Okay. I found another page. Following up on a lead. Keep checking in. Roger. Now, uh, which is hot? What does this one say? Here lived the witch of Cauldron Lake. Beware, her spirit may still haunt this place. Right. The page described the hut being lit and mentioned a fuse. track <sighs> Friday Midge told me to today her family's moving away this sucks I haven't even told her how I, that I like her yet what's the point anymore she said she, her parents want to get better jobs and get her to a better school in the big city I guess that's fair who wants to stay in bright bright fucking falls Sunday I told her she said thanks fucking kill me Monday I snuck out last I snuck out last night again went to the big house by the lake instead of just watching it from here like I always do wait went to the big house by the lake instead of just watching it here like I always do 
instead of just sitting around like I always do. Screw that. Any, anyway, something weird is going on down there. I'm going to find out what. Going to go back there tomorrow with better gear. I bet I can find a way inside the building. Take some photos. It's going to be epic. Yeah. Hope it was, man. Oh, shit. Sweet, got some ammo. That's cool. This one looks good. People should really stop littering, though. All right, we got a fuse, baby. Is that it? Okay. Nothing else here, I guess. Perfect, because uh, this is the end of the stream, so let's manual save it. Yeah, that's where I was last time. We, uh, yeah, I played 10 hours. Well, no, it's I played, and then I restarted, and then played again, so however long. And most of, uh, most of it, I was fucking stuck. So, oh. Yeah, let's do a new one. There you go. Page. Make in progress. All right, guys, that's going to be the end of part three of our Let's Play of Alan Wake 2. We'll be back with part four very soon. Hope you guys are enjoying this. Until next time, peace.